Thank you very much, Michelle. And can I just start by saying a huge thank you to you and the Business Club for organising tonight's event. It's so important that people get the opportunity to question people like us, who after all are standing for what is a hugely responsible and important job. Can I thank the New Advertiser as well, a great local newspaper who hold people like us to account on a daily basis, and Magnus Academy, which is a great school here in the constituency. I just want to tell you a little bit about who I am. I'm Michael Payne, Labour's parliamentary candidate for New Constituency. I'm a local lad. I haven't just got on a train and hopped up here because there's a safe seat available. I've spent 28 years, my entire life, in Nottinghamshire, and I feel very proud to live in a county like this. And I've been struck talking to people over the last few weeks about how proud people are of the community that they live in. What I've also been struck about, though, is how this seat's been let down. Let down because of the huge majorities that there have been in this seat. Let down because people have taken you for granted. And let down because previous members of Parliament have spoken about issues that matter to them and private concerns rather than campaigning about the issues that matter to all of you and the issues that matter to me too. Tonight I want to tell you why the Lib Dems have broken all of their promises since being in government, why you've been let down by the Conservatives and why, frankly, whatever Roger will tell you tonight, UKIP just aren't the answer. For me, there is only one way of sending a clear message to David Cameron and Nick Clegg, and that's by voting for me as the Labour candidate, a real fresh start for this constituency, which is what the constituency deserves. If elected, I'll be a full-time Member of Parliament, and being an MP will be my only job, something I hope tonight that other candidates will clear up too. I'll fight to protect the National Health Service, which includes Newark Hospital, whose accident and emergency has shamefully been closed by this government and its services are being downgraded day by day. I'll fight to help people who I meet every day in this constituency who are struggling with the cost of living crisis caused by this government. And you know, I know politics is about choices, and I know that Robert and David's party made a choice to prioritise tax cuts for millionaires, but that's just simply not a choice I'd make as your MP. If you elect me as your MP, I'd vote to scrap the pernicious bedroom tax, which is hurting 830 families here in this constituency. I'd vote to freeze energy bills until 2017 and reform the energy market so that the big six don't continue to hit hard those who are working hard in this constituency. I'd vote to support 25 hours free childcare for families who are really struggling at the moment to make ends meet. And you know this record under this government speaks for itself. Energy bills up £300 since David Cameron was Prime Minister. Wages falling behind prices for every single one out of one month since he was Prime Minister. And every single week supported by the Liberal Democrats, whatever David tells you tonight. I want to stand up for you on the issues that matter. I'll vote to keep the East Coast Main Line, which serves this constituency every single day, for people who need to work in the public interest, not in the private interest. Something which I hope Rod, Rod, Robert will be able to address uh, tonight. As I say, I'm a local guy, I care about this area, I haven't just come here to try and find a safe seat. You won't find me touting around for the highest bidder, you'll find me standing up for the issues that matter to you. And let me just close by saying this, Michelle, and I hope we can get into a discussion tonight about Europe. Roger talks about being in the real world. What I have to say to you, Roger, that it's 2014, not 1945. We're not fighting anymore, and people in Europe are our allies. They're our partners and they're our friends. And actually, we have to work with them in the interests of the British economy, standing up for British interests, tackling the cost of living crisis, being in Europe, fighting our corner, leading the way as a country, not marginalising ourselves to the outside, not coming up with answers like charging you to see your GP, which Roger will tell you isn't one of their policies, but actually is a policy advocated by their health spokesperson, not cutting pensions in the NHS, advocated by Nigel Farage, his leader, and not getting rid of your rights at work, which again, his leader supported earlier this year. The only way you can send a clear message to this government is by voting for the truly local candidate, the candidate who will stand up for you day in, day out on the issues that matter, the candidate who will be an MP will be his only job. Thank you very much.